Welcome to Talk Math. Today we're going to be doing the 2021 AMC 12A problems number 1 through 9. Now since these are beginning problems, they should go pretty quickly. So starting with problem number 1, we have 2 to the 6th, minus 2 to the 1st, plus 2 to the 2nd, plus 2 to the 3rd. Now 2 to the 6th is going to be 64, and then we're going to have a minus, 2 to the 1st plus 2 cubed is 10, plus 2 squared is 14, so minus 14, gives us a 50, which the answer is B, and we're done. Okay, moving on to question 2, we have this equation. So we can square both sides to get a squared plus b squared equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Clearly, these cancel, and we get ab has to equal 0. However, we're not quite done, because if you look, we have a squared plus b squared is always positive, and when you take the square root of that, you're going to get something that's always positive. So we also have that a plus b must always be greater than 0, or equal to. And so now that we have these equations, we're done, and the answer is d. Starting with problem 3, we see that we have two numbers add to 17402, and one's a multiple of 10. But when you remove the last digit, which is a zero, you get the other number. So if the other number is x, then you have the other the, the first number is 10x. So these must add up to 17402. So all you need to do is divide both sides by 11. So you have 17402 divided by 11. It's going to give us a 1, 11, bring down a 6, 4, 5, 55. It's going to give you 9, 0. It's going to give us an 8. So 88, bring down a 2. And you're going to have a 2. Okay, so we have 1582. So now all we need to do is find the difference between the two. So we take 1, 5, 8, 2, 0, and we subtract 1, 5, 8, 2. Okay, so doing this fraction, it's going to give us uh, 3 there, 2, 4, 1. So we have 1, 4, 2, 3, 8, which is answer choice D, and we're done with the problem. Okay, moving on to question number 4. You can see there are 13 snakes, 4 are purple, and 5 are happy. Now it gives us some restrictions. Happy snakes can't add, we have purple snakes cannot subtract, and those who can't subtract can't add. And we have which of the following statements must be true based on the list given. Well, we know that purple snakes can't subtract, but those who can't subtract can't add, which means that purple snakes also cannot add. But we have happy snakes can add, which means that happy snakes must not be purple snakes. And we can see that that is answer choice D, and we're done with the problem. Okay, moving on to question five, it tells us that this person is trying to calculate 66 times 1.AB repeating, but they make a mistake and they accidentally calculate 66 as 1.AB. And when they do this, they get the correct answer, minus 0.5. So we have this equation, and it asks us to find what is AB. Well, in order to do this, I'm going to write AB as a fraction. So we have 66 times the quantity, 1 plus AB over 99, since it repeats, minus 0.5. has to equal, the right-hand side, we have 66 times the quantity, 1 plus AB over 100. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute out 66, and you notice this, this 1 is going to cancel over here. So we're going to get 2 thirds AB. It's going to be equal to, sorry, minus 0.5. It's going to be equal to uh, 66 AB over 100. That's going to be 33 AB over 55. Sorry, 50. Okay, so now what we need to do is bring this over here. When we do this, we're going to have a 99 AB, and here we're going to have 100 AB over 150. So this is going to give us the AB over 150 is equal to 0 0.5, which means that AB is going to be equal to 75. And that's it. We're done with the, uh, we're done with the problem. And the answer is E. Okay, moving on to question six. We have a deck of cards with red and black cards. And now we have the probability of drawing a red is going to be one third initially. So because of that, I'm going to say there's going to be X red cards and two X other cards. And we see that the probability of drawing an X, uh, this, a red is indeed one third, because one X over three X is one third. Now we add four of these cards. And then we know that the new probability of drawing a red card is 1 fourth. So we have x over this plus this, which is 3x plus 4, has to equal 1 fourth. So 4x equals 3x plus 4, x equals 4. Now it asks us how many cards were originally in the deck. Well, that means the original amount was, is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12 cards. And the answer is C. Moving on to question 7, we want to find the minimum of this function. Now, in order to do this, let's start squaring out both terms. So we have xy quantity squared minus xy, sorry, minus 2xy plus 1. And when we expand this out, we have a plus x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. Now, the 2xy's cancel, and we're left with xy quantity squared plus x squared plus y squared plus 1. And now we know that since all of these must be positive, and x and y are real numbers, then these can be at minimum 0. So the minimum of the whole thing is just going to be 1. And that's our answer choice, D. Moving on to question 8, we have D0 equals 0, D1 equals 0, 
and then dn is equal to n, d of n minus 1 plus d of n minus 3 for all the rest. And it asks us what are the parities of d2021, 2022, and 2023. And where parities means whether they're odd or even. Now, to do this problem, because we want to find such large numbers, we should probably make a chart and see if we can find a pattern. So I'm going to start writing out d0, d1, d2, d3, d4, d5, d6. I'm going to go like about 10. d7, d8. Let's stop at d9, I guess. Okay, so now d0 we know is 0. d1 we know is 0. Sorry, I forgot to mention that we also know that d2 has to equal 1. And so now we have d2 is equal to 1. d3 is going to be 1 plus 0, which is 1. d4 is going to be 1 plus 0, which is 1. d5 is going to be 2. d6 is going to be 3. d7 is going to be 4. d8 is going to be 6. And d9 is going to be 9. Okay, so now let's write out the parities, because that's what we really care about. We don't care about what these numbers are. We care about whether or not they're odd or even. So even, even, odd, 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 even, odd, even, even, odd. Now, look at that. We have even, even, odd. And we have even, even, odd over here. So we see that it repeats every seven terms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if this repeats every seven terms, then these are really, we are the same values as much lower. So we know that 2023 is divisible by seven. So D of 2023 is going to be the same thing as D of seven. And then we have that 2022 is going to be the same thing as D of six. And 2021 is going to be the same thing as D of five. Well, D of five is even. D of 6 is odd, and D of 7 is even, so that's our answer. We have even, odd, even, which is answer choice C. Problem 9 asks us to find an equivalent form of this expression. Now, to start, I don't really know any tricks, so I'm just going to expand the first two terms to see if I see a pattern. So we have 2 times 2 squared is going to be 2 cubed times, then we're going to have a 2 squared times 3 plus a 2 times 3 squared plus a 3 cubed. And now when I see this, I see that we have the 2 power of 2 is decreasing and the power of 3 is increasing. And so one way to solve this is you can, instead of, I don't want to add up all these, even though I can calculate them, I don't want to do that because we get pretty large numbers in the end. So I'm going to try to do this algebraically. So if we divide by 3 cubed, sorry, divide by 2 cubed, then we get 2 cubed, or factor that out, times 1 plus 3 halves plus 3 halves squared plus 3 halves cubed. And so then this is going to be, this is a finite geometric series. So we have this equals 2 cubed times uh, we have 3 halves to the 4th, minus 1 over 3 halves, minus 1. So if this 3 halves minus 1 is a 1 half in the denominator, which really just gives a 2 to the 4th. So we have 2 to the 4th times 3 halves to the 4th, minus 1. Sorry. And then expanding out this 2 to the 4th, we have 3 to the 4th, minus 2 to the 4th. And now there's many ways to arrive at this result. You could just take these two and then figure out that that's equal to 3 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th. But from here on, it becomes really easy. Because we multiply 3 to the 4th minus 2 to the 4th, by 2 to the 4th plus 3 to the 4th, that's a difference of squares, and then the result is going to be 3 to the, sorry, 3 to the 8th minus 2 to the 8th. Okay, and then you multiply that by 3, 2 to the 8th plus 3 to the 8th, you're going to get 3 to the 16th minus 2 to the 16th. And you can keep doing that all the way into the end, and you're eventually going to get 3 to the 1,000, sorry, 128 minus 2 to the 128. And that's the answer choice D, and we're done. Well, that's it. So I will be doing future problems on the rest of the 21 AMC problems later uh, when I get a chance. But if I do find mistakes in this, because it was done pretty quickly, I will re-upload if it's bad enough, or I'll try to correct, uh, give stipulations in the, in the description or comments down below. So please like and subscribe if you want to see more like it, and feel free to leave only comments or suggestions down below.